How we doing, everybody? It is Justin with Guaranteed Country, and I am heading out to do a quick lap in pursuit of mushrooms that are coming in. We are getting close to it becoming the right time. A little late compared to most years, but otherwise I think we're still in the money. So we're going to go out and check a couple spots that we've had good luck at in the past. It's currently, it's a little cold out, it's about 60 degrees, so uh, we'd like it to be in the mid-70s, but we're going to look at some of the wet areas that we typically find them um, along a creek and see if we have any luck to find some early, um, well this year it's early, finding some grays, normally we'd be finding some yellows at this point, but we're going to go out, do a quick lap and see what happens. One of the neat things about being out during the spring is you can walk in areas that maybe other times you wouldn't want to be in to disrupt deer. One of the things I like to do is walk down creeks. Gives you an idea of how the deer and animals are using that as a travel path. And also gives you a good vantage point because all of the ground is at your eye level when you're trying to find different mushrooms. These look like they're from last year, but if anyone happens to know what kind of mushrooms these are, let me know in the comments. I am an amateur enthusiast, so I'm not really sure what kind they are. Alright, came upon a couple of dead trees, and I'm lucky enough, there is a decent size pheasant back. Super fresh, has water actually on it. So I'm going to cut it and we're going to take it with us. There's one. And we're actually going to take this little guy with us as well. There we go. Good start. So as I started doing research and reading books over the winter, I actually had one tree in mind and it's this one right here that ended up having pheasant backs. It's been decaying for probably the last 10 years. And as you can see, there's some different groups of mushrooms that are just starting to sprout out. So I'm gonna leave these guys. I'm gonna try the ones that I already cut. And if I like it, I will come back and get some more. All right, guys, I uh, am in one of my tried and true spots where I always seem to find some of the first ones. And what do you know? I have spotted a couple morels. Let's take a look. All right, can you spot the morel? Let's do some zooming in. I spotted it from a good distance away. There is a delicious morel mushroom. I am excited. There's a couple I about stepped on. Got a good little mess. Well, it's not a ton. But by golly, it's a skillet full. So between that and the pheasant backs, we got ourselves a good meal. All right, guys, what a day. Ended up getting a handful of morels. I got two pheasant backs as well. Uh, so we'll go home, and now that we found them, that's the hard part. So we'll go home, clean them up, and then we're going to cook them up. So you guys will be part of that process as well. One of the things that's interesting to me is I've read books about the pheasant back. They say it smells like watermelon rind. And it absolutely does. Uh, it has a very, very distinct smell. So I think we're going to go home, fry them up, and uh, have some morels with it. And we're going to report back and see how, how these taste. We know how these are going to taste. Uh, so stay tuned and let's see what happens. We're going to wash off the uh, pheasants back that we got today. Get it all cleaned up. And we're going to try to saute it and see how it tastes. So after watching videos, uh, a lot of them said to take the uh, spores off the back. So we're going to do that and get it cleaned up and then dice it up and ready to cook. All right, so we now have cleaned it all off and now we're just left with kind of the meatiness of the uh, mushroom. So we'll get it diced up and ready to go into the pan. Finishing cutting up the mushroom. I cut it into very, very thin uh, strips and we'll get it ready to go into the pan as you can see uh, super fine 
and we're going to put that in with some uh, diced up onions, garlic, butter, and then beef stock. We'll get all that added and kind of let it cook down. Cutting up an onion and uh, we'll put it in. We'll get a couple uh, things of garlic and we'll start cooking. So we got butter. We're going to put butter in, start sauteing the onions, and then from there we'll put in some garlic and then put the mushrooms, beef stock, and see what happens. So we got the butter melting inside the pan. Alright, so now we're going to we'll put some salt and pepper in there with the onions. Butter's melted. And since that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and here's our uh, mushroom. We're going to stick that in there as well. It has a very pungent watermelon smell to it. We're going to let that cook down. Uh, we're going to let saute it for a minute and then we'll put some uh, broth in there with it. And we've got it all mixed together. Buttery goodness. We got all that cooking down. Uh, we're going to add, oh, maybe a cup worth of beef broth. And hopefully these mushrooms will kind of take on that flavor a little bit. And by the time it kind of uh, cooks down, it should be ready to go. Here's a close up. It has an interesting smell to it. It has, you can smell the beef broth, the garlic, but it also has a watermelon-y smell. So we'll see after it all cooks down how it ends up tasting. In the meantime, we're also here in the pan beside it going to start doing a pork chop and hopefully this will be a good topping to go over top of it once it's done. So things are going well. Uh, I've been cooking for about 20 minutes now and it keeps reducing. So basically when it's done reducing, we'll be done. Also got a couple pork chops that are going, and uh, we'll end up putting the mushroom mixture on top, and it should be pretty tasty. We're gonna eat it after it's done. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the finished product, uh, pork chop with uh, mushrooms on top of it. So let's try a bite and see how it tastes. First bite of pheasant back mushrooms sautéed in butter. Pretty good. I feel like it kind of has the consistency of uh, hint of the wood mushrooms. But overall, super tasty and really good on top of a pork chop. So. With that, that's all for uh, this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching.